Right, let's tear down Friday time. Uh, what have we got in the fuck about box? We can tear down today. This navigation data bank thing, a static inverter, Russian radio, an instrument. Ah, I think I'll do this today. Mm. So, what is this thing? This is a cryptographic communication system usually used for missile defense systems that sort of thing where all communications are encrypted uh, it's got a nominal emergency button all the switches are locked so you have to pull them you got to pull them before you can move them same thing with that that won't move unless you pull it how oh, this is used by all NATO forces apparently so you'll find it in some NATO aircraft. Like I say, it's some sort of encrypted communication system where you can erase the crypto keys in the event where your vehicle's compromised. You can just quickly clear all the data. And it's part of the Yamcom system. I'll put a bit of information about that on the screen now. Right, so now that that's established, um, I think we'll take it apart and see what's inside it. There are a lot of connectors on the back. I don't want to come off. Yep. Connectors with lots of pins. Yeah, that one might be a power pin, that. Uh, Maybe that too. It's made by Rayco or Avionics. It just says interface unit. Uh, this came from a Lynx helicopter. So. Now, I think what I should do is take these side covers off. Uh, there's some screws on the top there, but they were like, they were something internal. Um, caution to be serviced at authorised Tempest facilities. Hmm, looks interesting. Right, let's get it apart. Right. Uh, well, little circuit board. Not a bit too much in there. Some diodes, rectifier diodes that are all fastened to the middle. Block of value minimum hits. How does that board come out? Uh, that's it, they're solid. Mm, can't see what's in there. It's fairly modern, it's using some surface mount components. Can't see what that chip is there. That connector there's all got one wire on it. That one's got a few. That connects to there. Hmm, let's see what's on the other side. So there's something there as well. Yeah, two more PCBs. Hmm. I don't know how you get to the how you get them out though. I mean it looks like that's a power board, TIP one two six up there. So that's a DC DC converter. Yeah, that's the power input by the way, give it that one. Don't think I'm going to better find a pin out for it though. Yeah, that's your power board. There's nothing really in it. 
Let all the parts come out. Looks like you're the front panel off. They're sailing in there pretty tight. Yeah, they've got hex screws there to hold it in. So, ah, there you go. They have the circuit boards in, them four screws there. But if you undo them, you'll better get that nut out. It's uh, very odd. They're not rectified diodes, they're actually just terminals that go through to the other side. Hmm. You can actually see the front panel board there. There's actually, there isn't another circuit board in there. I think that this is all that's in it. So, it, yeah. Bit of a disappointing tear down that really. I expected more in that. Yeah, if you look at the front, obviously you're going to take all these switches off to get the front panel out. Oops. Um, there's no other boards in there. You can see through the, through there. Um, yeah, well, that's a bit of a disappointment. Let's see if I find the power pins. I mean, it's not going to do anything apart from the lights come on. And do that, I suppose. Hmm. Let's see what's on this board. I think this is going to be easier to get out, which looks like the power board. I don't think we're not going to do much apart from the front panel lights up. But... despite undoing all these screws. Um, well, right, well, I think I'm not going to bother taking all this front off because I'll probably end up breaking it. And there's nothing really interesting behind there. If I do power up, all it's going to do is turn the panel lighting on. So I think that's just going to be a cool looking ornament, I think. Uh, yeah, a bit of a disappointment, but expecting something better in there, but never mind. Thanks for watching.